Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Rosberg from the Hospital for Special Surgery. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, discussing with you uh, the treatment of bow leg deformity when associated with advanced arthritis, treated best with a knee replacement rather than an osteotomy. While we use joint preservation and osteotomy in many cases, uh, there are situations where the arthritis is too severe and the most predictable option is going to be a knee replacement as the tool for the deformity correction. Um, my patient has given permission to use his images. You'll notice here before surgery his right leg has a severe bow leg or varus deformity. The right leg is short, there's instability, there's pain. The x-rays show a 35 degree varus deformity with instability of the knee joint. The femur is sliding off the tibia. There's bone on bone grinding. The long x-ray shows the full alignment of the leg. You'll notice this blue line from the hip to the ankle on the left side goes through the center of the knee representing normal alignment. But on the right side there is a 35 degree varus deformity that needs to be corrected. The right side is also shorter, as you can see that the right hip is lower. After knee replacement, the deformity is corrected, the arthritis has been removed, and the new implant is in place. The long x-ray shows equalization of the leg lengths and correction of the alignment. After surgery, he has a nice straight leg. Uh, his pain is substantially improved. The quality of his life is substantially improved. Before surgery and after surgery. Before surgery and after surgery. If you're a professional, you may find this additional resource to be of uh, value. You can get this from Springer Publishing. I want to thank you for joining me today to discuss uh, correction of bow leg deformity when, it, when associated with advanced arthritis of the knee uh, treated with knee replacement surgery.